Hello, my darlings, and welcome back to Henford on Bagley. We are in the Bramblewood area once again today, back at Haddon Hall. Last time, we got to work on the back exterior and made it look a little bit better, and also mapped in the lot itself with a hedge and fence boundary. Today, we're going to be continuing on putting more details onto the actual exterior itself and introducing a couple new family members. We've got some dogs in the mix and also a rather handsome butler. So let's get into game and I'll introduce you to them properly. Happy Thursday, my loves, and welcome back to Let's Build the World. And welcome back to Haddon Hall, my loves. Um... You've, well, first off, let's go and see the dogs. You know, the first the first port of call. The first port of call. Here are the dogs. I've decided to bring in two dogs to this family. I didn't really understand why I didn't put dogs in this family. I think I was a bit too much interested in the actual storyline with this family rather than wondering what pets they were going to have. And I thought, do you know what? Let's get them, in. get them in. So we've got a lovely little Springer Spaniel called Darcy. Um, He's an absolute handsome man. Yes, he is indeed. And we've also got a bloodhound that is dancing with Hillary, by the looks of things. Is it their wedding dance? Their first dance? What a marvellous sight. I don't know why I just pictured Dickens in a bridal dress with a veil. Can you imagine that with stilettos on? I would love that. I really would. But this is Dickens. He's a handsome chap as well. I just thought having a bloodhound and a Springer Spaniel would just be perfect for this household. So that's what I've done. Locked two of those in. And you may have, may or not have noticed, because I noticed in the video tour that the door opened and we saw Reginald hoovering here. Here he is. We've got a butler as well. We've got a butler in this household. Is he a bit daddy to me? I didn't really pay attention to him too much because what I normally do with a butler is go into cast full edit mode and make them how I want them to look. And for some reason, I made him very handsome. Um, very, very nice. He's called Reginald Charlton. And I reckon his family has had like several lines of butlers over the years. Um, and maybe he's the fourth iteration of the Charlton to look after Haddon Hall. Um, so very influential job. Yes, he has indeed. And I've also figured out a floor plan that I'm happy with now. Thank you lot for so much of your lovely help. Um, I had some really great ideas that I did put into fruition throughout this whole place. So I'm going to point you around now. So we've got the kitchen here. We're going to have a lovely big pantry over to the side here. Uh, this is kind of the servant's entrance. We'll go down there in a second. Uh, but this is going to act as a bit of a boot room. Maybe somewhere where the dogs could sleep as well. I don't know. That's maybe a bit small. We'll see what happens with that. We've got a toilet there. We've got an informal dining room. I loved the idea that a few of you had to have like just a family dining room rather than a big fancy one in the Great Hall. Just have a smaller dining room in this area here. So I thought this whole area would be perfect for it. I split it up and then put a corridor kind of walking through into the main or the great hall itself. You can see I've put wallpapers, flooring, doors, lights, everything is in now. I told you I was going to split off this sitting room area into a smaller bit, which I'm probably going to make a bit of a, an extra study slash kind of library area, I would imagine. Uh, I just thought that was a nice little way of kind of chopping down the size of this i really did i've put all of the lights off in the study area because the family doesn't like to go in here anymore i thought that was a really good way i'm actually going to lock the door for everybody so nobody can actually get in here or no one wants to go in there that's why there's cobwebs around now this place has kind of been left um because they're you know i wouldn't want i wouldn't want to live in the same house but they haven't really got a choice to be honest with you so as i said i did change the floor plan upstairs a little bit as well uh i've put some arches across that kind of overlook into the great hall area here but other than that i kind of kept this area the same i did maneuver this all a little bit more underneath made the living room a little bit wider so it kind of fit in a little bit better and i'm much happier with how this floor plan is looking i really am and now there are storylines down here because you can probably see i've gone down into the basement on this level here as well so i would imagine back in the day this is where deliveries came where the servants would collect all the stuff for the kitchen and stuff and then they've got an area down here which is going to be the butler's area now this would probably have had more than one bed in i would say like that a lot of the servants would have lived in here maybe they would have had their own bathroom and stuff down here as well and i reckon this would have been their kitchen and kind of maybe their kind of servants quarters over here where they would eat their food 
Uh, but I think what I'm going to use this for instead now is just an area where they can store all the all of their old antiques and stuff. I think that would be a good vibe. And I'm going to do this here as the wine cellar. So fantastic. I think that is like a nice area. It's, it's big and it kind of connects in both sides of the house underneath as well. So you do come down through this level or you can come through here as well. Um, and I like that. I do indeed. So we've got a nice floor plan flowing that I'm much happier with. And I know it's going to work for this particular build. And that is the ticket, you know. Today what we're going to do is concentrate on the exterior itself. I still want to put some more details and stuff on. You can obviously see I've put some more windows into places as well. Into the bathroom. Smaller windows. I think I did a few over here as well. Oh, where's that gone? Um, my trim is missing from there. I'll sort that out. But we're also going to be put. I want some like lattice fencing on top of the roof line and stuff. And I also think we should start marking in where we're putting the stables. I'm going to pull this fence away from here as well in this hedge. And have a bit of an entrance here. So that you can get in through this way into the stable area too. I noticed a few, couple of you saying that as well. I did plan on doing that somewhere. I just didn't know where I wanted to do it just yet. And I thought that would be the perfect area to do it. <sighs> So that's it. That's it. That's what we're going to be doing today. Concentrating a lot more on the landscaping as well, I think. And I'm going to be playing around the terrain paints and stuff as well. Now, I have also decided another thing too. I'm going to be bringing out another part of this tomorrow. I know I keep saying I'm going to be getting that Google Earth part out. But I'm feeling really inspired at the minute. So I just want to continue and flow through with my inspiration. I'm having so much fun. You guys are enjoying it. So let's crack on. And then on Tuesday, I'll bring out the Google Earth. You, I promise. I absolutely promise this time. So anyway, let's get into the proper build mode and make a bloody start. So I think first things first, I want to get rid of this gate area here. I don't really want to take it all away. I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. We'll see how much room we've got for a start because I may even build a full wall here. Mm, do you know what? That would probably look a little bit better if I did that. If I built a full... Oh, that's going to be a bastard. What I can do there... Is do that and then I'll size that down um much like I was going to do with the other one and I didn't do that so let's do that now and the sweet spot to stop it glitching out was 0.997 there we go if I can flop you down get rid of you and then it just stops that horrible glitch then you know stops the textures from sort of sitting on top of each other so I had thoughts with this do I put in I've got an idea with the gate and it's this one but I'm wondering if it's going to be a bit too small and also, will it come in a decent enough tone to match in with what we've got going on here? That's probably going to be a big fat no. Because we know what it's like with The Sims. Or shall I do a, just a door here? Hmm. Do you know what? I think I want to do a door. I think what we're going to do first is bring this to... Well, there, obviously. And then I'm going to drag this across to where the stable's going to start. Now, this is a medium height wall and I don't really want that. But the door that I've got in my head is a medium height door and it's this one here. And I'm thinking that would probably work quite nicely as like an entrance like door area. Oh, I do like that as well though. I'm going to do it. I'm going to leave it open. I'm going to leave the actual wall open instead. I'm just going to maneuver this and make that bigger instead. Put one there and then do another one just outside of it as well. I mean, that happens a lot in country estates. They are open to the elements uh, and people. So it would kind of make sense. And I think that's going to match in quite well with the brick that we've got too. It does. It actually does. Okay. Well, I'm happy with that. Let's go inside. Let's get you on. Get you on. Get you on. What I was saying about these platforms. When you've got a high platform here, like on inside walls, I always find the camera goes really stupid on them and like lifts up and you can't get down into places. Like now I'm trying to get down into this and it's, I don't want that. I can't be dealing with that. It's very annoying. So I'm just going to leave them down. And I'm only saying that because I know someone out there will say, you can put a platform up and I'll say, no, darling. No, you cannot because it's very annoying. I think that's what I want to do. Yeah. And then up that battlement fence just on top of it because i am going to be connecting it in with the stables themselves i don't think i'll make the stables look very battlementy but we'll see battlementy is the word for today oh that actually looks quite nice that doesn't look bad at all does it yeah i like that okay well i'm happy well we'll crack on and build in the stables as well not with that please thank you we'll crack on and build in the stables as well now i do think this is the length and 
the size that I want it. Because I do want a couple of stables here. So let's get this mapped around first. Yes, I like that. Do I want to put a roof line on it? I think I do. We're just going to go for the hipped roofs. I think they look fine there. I really do. And I'm going to use the same slate as what we've got on the house as well. Just to keep it very in keeping with how this estate is going to look. Yes, indeed. I'm going to flop you to there. Beautiful. Now, this fence almost just seems a bit obsolete at the back here now. So I think what I want to do is get rid of it. Um, I'm going to do it to there. Get rid of these. And I'm also going to put a hedge behind here as well. I'm going to put that in there. And then grab the hedge of dreams. Can I squeeze the hedge of dreams in here? No. We're probably going to have to shorten it and make it a little bit smaller. Worried that people are going to walk through that bit there. Um, like the murderer, maybe. Maybe that was the way the murderer got in. Probably using this big arch <laughs> over here that leads directly to the study window over here. Well, you know, who can say? Who can say? It's a very much a mystery. It really is a big mystery. I'm thinking about putting some kind of uh, trim around on the actual stable itself, though. So I am going to put this on and just map you all the way through my suite and bring you to there. Bring you all the way along and flop you up to there as well. And I'm just going to go for a nice, simple uh, exterior trim. Maybe just in the darkest brown that we've got. There we go. Yeah, something like that. I think that will suffice quite nicely. Uh, let me just try this. Just for shits and giggles. Oh, I do like that. I do enjoy that. I'm going to do that. <laughs> I am going to do that. Yes, it did. Okay, well, we've got the stables kind of mapped in. I have pulled out two kind of like horse beds. And I think what I want to do is wrap them in one of the fences from horse, the horse ranch. But put on two doors. Now, we don't really have any kind of British stable looking doors, which is um, always a bit sad. But I am going to use these instead because they just feel, I feel like they'll fit with the estate a little bit better than the rest of them. So we've got a bit of a floor plan going on and I'll talk you through it once we start lighting up the place nicely. Uh, so I've made the actual horses like stable stalls a little bit smaller and I've done this area here that I'm going to fence off into a bit of an office and I'm only taking that from experience because when I used to horse ride the stable owner used to have like an office in the barn area and it was a bit run down and a bit smelly and I always remember the smell of it to this day so we're taking some inspiration and we're going to do that yes we are indeed so let's get some lighting going up and I've also pulled out some of these windows. Oh, actually, let's move you along to here first, I think. This is what I want to do. Because the gates, yep, yeah, the gates there. We're going to do these windows. One here like this. And then I'm going to do a couple of them. Right next to each other here. Like that. And uh, I don't know if I want to put any into the stables themselves. Because horses can get spooked quite easily. So maybe I'll do like one here like that and maybe one into the office as well on the back area here like that let me see that yes i also changed out that trim as well it was not working for me and i didn't like it the end what a lovely story yes that's looking a bit better it is it's a rough draft um i'm not going to go ahead and detail that any further because i want to work on some other bits around on the actual main house and also mapping an area now where we're actually going to put a greenhouse in. So I'm going to just put in... Do I want to do it now? Yeah, do you know what? Let's just build it now. It'd be much easier, wouldn't it? Let's get down to here then. Um, Quite a substantial one, but not... So it's going to take up all of the garden. Maybe like to around about there. And... Yeah, we're going to go around to here as well. Like so. Let's hope that hedge is not going to come into it as I just... honestly I knew it was going to happen oh I'm going to pull you back one more then I'm going to pull you back one more to there lovely and I'm going to do a stone uh, greenhouse as well I'm going to use this one I'm going to use the ombre kind of stone yes because then what I can do is get in a lovely little roof line here pull all of those flaps in drag that along and use the darker one on that point the darker one here one of you also said to put the ombre at the bottom of the chimney breast which i have done and it made such a nice subtle difference i really liked it so thank you to that person 
really appreciate that. Always welcome your help for the save file, as always. Um, nine times out of ten, I'll go with the things that you want to do, but I like to put my own stamp on things as well, you know? I like that, but should we go for a brown? Um, yeah, maybe. Why has that got that on it? Oh, I think I was testing that out. Do I want to keep that on there? No. <laughs> no, I don't. Absolutely no, I don't. And I'm going to do the square one here, I think, in the darkest brown. Yes, like that. And then come in here with the stone. And I'm also going to use that same stone we've got here and put it in the greenhouse itself. Like so. Yeah, lovely. Just need some windows now. I'm going to go for these windows here from the four rent pack. Just because they're a little bit more ornate than the ones that came with the greenhouse pack. And I think it would just suit this style of house uh, a little bit better. That's what we're going to do. I still might use the door. Uh, so I need to leave, I, don't, I can't remember how much room it needs or how many tiles. I think it's two tiles by the looks of things. Let's have a little look at you. Yeah, I think that could work. Let me get you in the, oh, oh. well, we're going to put you there then. Is the glass missing from that? I think the glass is missing from that. This game, honestly, I would love to give it a whack. Honestly, if I would literally backhand at this game if I met this game in real life. Just for the infuriating things that it decides is the right thing to do when it's not, you know? Makes me fume. Anyway, let's get some glass in. <laughs> Imagine backhander in The Sims 4 around the face. I mean, she would deserve it, to be honest. She really would. What about if we use this one here instead? It's a little bit shorter, but I think it could marry in quite well. And that actually has glass in too. I kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go down that route. Okay, so we've got that mapped in as well. So what I want to do now, I want to make a start on the terrain paints. And I need to figure out where I'm going to be doing some landscaping and stuff. Because I would love to have a landscaped garden at the front here. I don't want any lawn or anything. I want this to be primarily tile, I think. I think it would just suit it. Or at least gravel, that kind of look. I think gravel would be the way to go. Same with back here as well. Um, So... I need to mark out where we're going to be putting the soil first so I can get in some lovely plantage because I do want to get some ivy and stuff up on the walls here. Uh, so I do want some soil underneath of it. Let's go for you first and let's bring you to the square. That size there. And we're going to mark out where we're going to be putting this. So I think having this whole area here as some kind of lovely soilage. In fact, I'm going to go... Let's get the grid on so I can see... The space that I'm working with here. I'm going to bring that all the way around to there and then mark it in there like that. I think I'll gravel the rest of that apart from where I want to put these trees. And I think having a little border just along here would be nice as well. Let me see that. Yep, just like that. I'm not going to go all the way back. I think I want to gravel up to the house or as much as I possibly can, because I still want to get some soil for the ivy underneath. It's all go, go, go. It really is. Let me see that. Yeah, that's fine. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the soil underneath of these as well. I probably want to bring down the softness just a little bit, just because that one was quite harsh. I'm just going to roughly pop it in where the hedges are for the minute. And then I can always perfect it afterwards. There we go. And the same along here as well. All under there doesn't matter if it creeps through the other side because I am going to be doing some landscaping on the outside as well. Just a bit of grass here and there. I think I'll just soil that whole area, to be honest. I'm just going to shit all over the floor. <laughs> just soil that whole, whole area. <laughs> child. Absolute child. Let's do circular movements because you get a lot more of a natural vibe of that. We'll, put, we'll do that later. We're not, I'm not really fussed about that hedge just yet. Yeah, now that I've done that, though, I do want to pull this all the way back. I've decided I'm going to pull that all the way back to there. Let me see if that's in a grid space because I can put a nice fancy fence around that. And I'm just going to do it all the way to there as well. We've been getting some lovely bushes. Oh, we may as well just do that as well. We may as well do this area here. It's almost bordering the whole front of it. Apart from here, I'm going to get some gravel on. And that's what we're going to do now. I don't know what gravel to use. I don't know what to do like gray gravel or i could do this one that's a bit too light that one we'll forget that one we could even do this that one there would look really nice with this house uh i think this one might be a little bit too light yeah it's a little bit 
I think I think this one, you know, is a bit more of a paved looking moment, which would work really well back here as well. Let's do that. So we're going to do the paved one from get together. I always wish that these were darker, these um, terrain paints. I just find them all a little bit too light. Uh, there's never really a nice like darker gray one. That's got lovely like paving sort of like textures on them. Don't like them. Um, and I'm fuming about it, to be honest. All the way along here, gorgeous. I will go into that front entrance over there in a minute, but I just want to get this all in first. Is that the right one? It is, yes. Oh, yes, it is. Um, I am, now that I've done that, though, I am going to come ahead. Come ahead. I'm going to come ahead. I'm going to go ahead and put it across like that. Yeah, that's better. That's much better. And back to this one. So you all the way along to there. You to there. And here. And over on this part here too. There we go. Mapped in marvellously. And I also did the back area as well. And I've pulled out a couple of trees. We are going to put them around in the areas that I want them in now. Uh, I do want one there. I want to go for the taller one, which is that one, isn't it? Let me see. Yes. I'm going to pop a tree there. Let me... No, that was a nice... Area. There. There. That was a nice position I had it in first off. Lovely. And I also want to do a couple of trees at the front area as well. Just off to the sides in the hedgerow. Um, I might even get rid of that tree there, you know. And plop that one there instead. Let me see. Oh, yes. That's the ticket. And then do that smaller one over on this side. Uh, using the same trees we've got kind of around the lot as well. Just so it blends it into the the environment around it. You know, this is an old lot or an old house, sorry. So you would definitely imagine having lots of big trees around. Yeah, that's working really nicely. I like that. That's just settled it into the landscape a lot more. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't stick out too much now. Trees are the way forward, loves. Who would have thought? Trees are my favourite things on the planet. Um, apart from dogs. Trees and dogs. <laughs> Not people. <laughs> anyway, so I want that. And I want to do a fence. I think what we should do is put in a lovely black iron fence like this one. Or should we go for a bit more of an ornate vibe? Let me have a look. At, yeah, a little look. I'm going to flop you. Probably. They're not going to be able to come through there. That's fine. I am going to do it right into there, though. Bring that all the way along to there. And you as well. And I'm going to flop you to there as well, my darling. And whiffle you in there like that. Lovely. Same here. All the way along there. You to there. Beautiful, beautiful. I really hate this um, pavement here. I am going to change that. It doesn't work with what I want. And then I'm going to get rid of you like that, my darling. And then I think all the way across there, we're going to use the ye old faithful. And it's going to be that lovely little starter hedge just for some real nice opulent vibes you know they are going to have a gardener for this lot this lot and several of the other stately homes i'm going to do a groundskeeper and i think he looks after most of the kind of regal estates in henford on bagley um so and i'm gonna I'm, i don't really want to spoil it too much but he is going to be living in the Bramblewood area as well in a nice cottage we are going to be doing that and he's going to be the fittest sim you've ever seen in your life just to pre-warn you I've actually got it written down in front of me. <laughs> the sexiest him I've ever made. So we might move on to him afterwards. <laughs> Just so we can get thirsty with each other. You know, we do like to get thirsty in this community over Sims. Very strange, but you know, pixel thirst, what more can be said? I'm going to move you all the way along. Do I want to bring you all the way to there? I probably do, actually. That would look nice. Don't need to go down the back, but just in the area like here there in fact i'm just gonna box that all in like that yes let me see that oh that's just give it a regal vibe if i've ever seen one we'll do the same going along on all of this part and there we go i decided to go behind the hedges as well and put it up against the actual house itself uh, and i think that's working lovely why do my trims keep disappearing it's infuriating what, what, what why won't you go there are you kidding me what, what was that what was that for a start what is that? Go away. Just go. Leave me. Why is it not doing it? Oh, it's because of the fence underneath of it. <sighs> Do you know what? I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of you here and you there. Why does the game work like this? Like, 
I'll tell you why, because it's nearly 10 years old. A, practically a fossil at the minute. Right, you can... Go there, just there. Just there, there we go. Lovely, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's nice. I think that looks marvellous. I also shortened down these two trees in the front here. I just think it makes a bit more of an impact to the house then. Yeah, that's I'm vibing with that. I very much am indeed. Uh, what is that? Get rid of you. Oh my god, just get rid of my wallpapers now. Oh, I'm going to scream and slap a fish. And call it a bitch. There we go. Right, okay. Finally happy. We need some ivy out. I think the only ivy that's going to fit on this build is going to be the ones that we can just place on. Uh, main reasons being is that ivy and debug, it comes in like some weird shapes and I just don't think it's going to work um, because there's lots of angles on this build. Uh, so I'm going to use these instead. Using initiative, I'm going to float on through and climb some ivy up around the place. Not loads of it. I just want little flourishes of it, maybe just at the bottom. And maybe going up the chimney breast. I might climb it up the chimney breast a little bit higher. So let's try and get this on. I don't want it to be poking out too much with the walls down. So I'm going to go down to like there and then start off there. You know, it just helps with gameplay. And I'm going to do one more like that. Let me see that. Oh, yes, that's the ticket. Oh, I might go up a little bit higher. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yes, I am a doodly do. All right, Ned Flanders. Um, if I can put you there, <laughs> I'm going to climb one more up here. Oh, right. If I do you there then, and then clip you on there like that. Let me see that. Oh, yes, that's the ticket right there. It needs to be a bit thicker at the bottom. Just a little smidgy thicker. That's better. <laughs> that made all of the difference, that did. All of the difference. And then we're just going to continue on and put more of this edge clambering up the edges around the bottom of the actual build itself maybe on this part here as well that's screaming out for some ivy and then bring you down to there yes same over here as well let's do a little bit less on this side like that beautiful let's go into the middle there and maybe just clamber it up in between i've sized it down clamber up a little bit like that cheeky little bit of ivy there as well and then one round onto that little corner piece please can't really see but that's gonna have to do round onto there let me see yes i just wish this was a different green this is the only green i really like uh, oh no i used the wrong green now did i just go around and change each piece of ivy to the correct green yes i did because i am a fussy virgo whore and the, the, the difference between the greens and night and day. I mean, look at that green compared to that one. <laughs> it makes me feel a lot better anyway. Leaving it there. Absolutely leave, leaving it there. I'm also going to be doing a bit of tool. I forgot to say this. I'm going to be doing a bit of tool modding on this lot as well. I do want to put their cars out the front here. Some Land Rovers and stuff. So this safe fire, I'm going to play around a little bit with the tool modding of the surrounding areas as well. I do want to work on that a little bit more. Yeah, that's nice. I think that's nice for the front of the house with the ivy. I think what we need to do now is get out those iron sort of trellis sort of like things for the roof line. I don't know what they're called, but we're going to get some out. Hmm, I was going to use the debug ones, but I actually think that these here would work quite well with this house. Oh yes, it will. I'm going to bring you all the way along on the main roof of the house. I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and put them on the kind of dormers. We'll see what happens there. Oh, for goodness. Oh, I'm not going to be able to pick that one back up again. Let's get this one. And I mean by that, like, if you put something down and try and move it, it, like, floats. What is that about? What? Why is that still in the game? Why is that ever in the game, you know? I know it's a very much complain with Aiden day to day, but, you know, sometimes you just got to do that. You really do. I love this game. And I also love to complain about it, so... Stick that up your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> oh no, this end piece. Oh no, there we go. Let me have a little look at you. I don't know if I like it. I think I might need to sink it down. Because I don't like... I think that... I love the bit at the top. It's that big chunky black bit I don't like. I'm going to sink it down with the tool mod. Je ne sais quoi You know, I knew I was right. That works really nicely. Yes, it was that... How? Who are you? What are you doing? I did sink it down, I promise. Minus 0.3 was the perfect sweet spot. 
There we go. Thank you. Oh my god, is that up higher? No, nope, that is a defect on that part. Part. It was the same guy who did the fence. He was up on the roof as well. <laughs> I do like that. Yes, I think we should put it just on the main dormer. This bit here. So I'm going to put it on this part. There we go. And I'm going to sink that down as well. Now, because of the angle of the roof, we do have kind of a little bit of a lip showing, but I'm fine with that. Yeah, I like that. I think that's made a nice difference, actually. Very subtle, but I think it's it's all in those little subtle details, isn't it, darlings? It really is. Anyway, I think this is where we're going to leave it for today. We've managed to get quite a bit done. There are still some details and stuff I want to put around, but because we're coming back to this tomorrow, I think we can do it tomorrow. As I said, I want to get some corbels and stuff around i want to put some extra details on the actual build itself uh, and that's what that's what tomorrow is going to be about and also working on the backyard area and the front we're going to be just putting all of the details into everything tomorrow i might even do a little bit off of camera just so we can get it flowing a little bit better um but for now this is where we're going to leave it today but i think it's looking really really nice this house now i'm very much happy with how um, Haddon Hall is hauling along. <laughs> anyway, leave me some lovely comments down below, my darlings, and I'll be back with this again tomorrow. Goodbye.